But what we're looking at today is a bunch of annual mix uh, cover crops that were planted earlier this year. This was an opportunity where uh, maybe prevent plant, maybe some ground that needs some work that you can plant a full season cover in. And so what we wanted to do was highlight some of these mixes and also just talk about some of the species that maybe a lot of people might not be as familiar with. And so one of these plots that we got up here that we want to highlight, you know, this one has a little bit of everything in it. This is seeded at 27 pounds per acre. Um, the mix, as Barry said, was a mix of broadleaves, legumes, as well as some of these forage grasses. So this is some of the hairy vetch that's uh, growing in here. So this will have some really good, some really good forage quality. As part of the mix, we also had um, oats in here. Obviously, the oats is you know past prime. That's an earlier maturing species. But then you get down below, and we've got some of our uh, crimson clover. You can see there's a little bit of a, a blossom here on on this one yet. There's Facilia, has a beautiful purple flower. It's known as an excellent pollinator supporter. It provides that nice upright structure so it's able to fill in some of the gaps that we have with some of our species but also provides that aesthetic and that honeybee support. There's really good you know structure in this cover crop where we got some of that taller sorghum sedan up there and we've you know we've got the pearl millets that have really got some you know stocky nature to them and then we got this uh, hairy vetch that's crawling around. So when we harvest this approximately 80 days after planting, so it was planted on June 1st, um, we had almost seven tons of dry matter out here. So you can see um, the height differential between that sorghum sudan grass as well as the pearl millet, just how thick this is. The C to N ratio was actually nice quite low, so 27 to 1. And given that almost seven tons of dry matter, we're looking at 243 pounds of nitrogen sequestered in this biomass. So a really good crop. This will be taken as forage. This is not the prime time to be taking this as a forage crop, so the quality will be a little bit lower. This will be a nice beef quality feed. Um, if we wanted a little higher quality feed, we would have taken this earlier in the season. But um, we wanted to leave it to see what kind of expression we would get in many of these species, as well as the total tonnage that we could achieve. 